You can spend half an hour on YouTube learning about oscilloscopes, but I'm going to do it in two and a half minutes if at all possible. Here's the wonderful Behringer ARC 2600 connected up to a Telequipment D54R, which is a dual channel oscilloscope. So at the moment it's not doing anything. Let's switch on channel one and we see a sine wave oscillator with a couple of adjustments. You can center that, adjust the focus and then of course start changing the speed of the oscillator to change the pattern you see. Now let's switch on the second channel that has the input of another oscillator and we can adjust those so they fall in the best part of the display. So that's a sine wave at the top and a sawtooth at the bottom. We can set the scope to alternate so you get one followed by the other. If we go back to just the single sine wave display. Now we can start to dirty that up. For example, if you insert white noise at the same time, the display becomes more and more messy until it eventually collapses into random dots. If you add vibrato modulation to it, you start to see a second waveform imposed upon the first one. If you connect instead the output of an envelope shaper you can set that off manually and the scope will show you your envelope shape which is nice. You can also input a mic and get a display of what your voice is doing. Dark side of the moon, anyone? One, two, one, two, one, two. Here's two basic waveforms again, showing simultaneously. And as you change their speed, you can make something quite messy. Here's two waveforms again, this time combined with a little adapter into just one oscilloscope channel. And by doing this, you can start to get more complicated unusual wave shapes. But that's about all you can do with the conventional oscilloscope input channels until you switch on the external X channel. So now one of our oscillators has taken over the left to right movement of the display. Now because we're making the X direction loop back on itself, sending two oscillators at the same speed into Y and X gives you a perfect circle. It's not quite perfect here, but look what happens when we start to speed up either oscillator. As they go out of phase you get more and more complex patterns. A double loop, triple loop, more and more loops. These are all called Lissajou figures. And you can see the loops become more and more complex. Some fantastic displays there. and you can use your imagination as to what signals you input to make some fantastic patterns. Here's the lovely Telequipment Servoscope Miner which is the best compact old-fashioned CRT oscilloscope you could possibly hope to find. This one needs banana plugs on the front and on the back with the X input which is annoying and it's only single channel but with only its one channel you can still make these fantastic 
lists as you shapes and you find new things all the time look at that one always something unexpected finally here's the DSO 150 Euroscope it's a do-it-yourself kit modification of a cheaply available LCD oscilloscope into Eurorack format and it's simply displaying the A440 sine wave of the Model D Minimo clone. And there's quite a few of these Eurorack LCD oscilloscopes available.